Last weekend, we attended the Las Vegas Reptiles Super Show. We're going to give our review on that, but at the end of the video, we're going to be talking about something that is absolutely game-changing for the snake breeding industry. You're going to want to stick around and hear about that. Ryan Mick. Who? They. Ryan. Brian. Hopefully not Cusco. You know, I don't know what to expect, and the only thing that I can compare it to is like the Pomona and Anaheim show, but I don't want to compare it to that because this is all new, this is an all new space. I'm just going to walk around and just be as in awe here as I am over there. We're in Vegas. Let's do this. Russ Baker, nice to meet you. How dare you, sir? How dare you? Aloha! Top of the morning, friends and family. I bet you guys didn't know I was friends with that man! <laughs> was that good enough? That was great, bud. We've got a lot to talk about in this video. Three things in important in particular, like we're, we're definitely gonna talk about what's going on back there. We're gonna talk about the fact that you will no longer have to prove out your hets when you do a head-to-head -head pairing, you make pos hets. Pos hets are a thing of the past. Okay, so first thing, Vegas Reptile Super Show. It was fun, it was good. It was a little slow, which is to be expected when it's the first time for the Super Show ever being in Vegas. I know Rami was a little bit like like wishing there was more people. Of course, you always want more people at the show, but you know, Vegas is just a different animal. It was the first time for the show there, and there's always something happening there. It's a whole different animal than, than Los Angeles or Anaheim. It, it's just different, so I'm not sure what his plans are moving forward with it. Even though there weren't as many people as maybe we would have all hoped there to be, it was still a really good show. I picked up a little cool Crested Gecko that you might have seen in this week's video. The other thing that was working against it, there was kind of gnarly weather. Like I drove back through a lightning storm on Saturday, you know, the first day of the show, there was a bunch of weather and people were kind of driving like morons out there and I, I think that might have affected attendance as well, but it wasn't like it was empty. Like there were plenty of people there. It was just not as packed as the Pomona Reptile Super Shows where it's shoulder to shoulder packed crowds actions, but there's still plenty of people. I mean, I don't, I don't know how many people were through the door exactly, but I enjoyed myself. I won the 50-50 raffle, US Arc raffle that I've never won. I always buy a bunch of tickets, like hundreds of dollars worth of tickets and I never win, but I won this time and that was epic and excellent. At the US Arc auction, I also won this really cool limited edition Las Vegas 2022 Reptile Super Show, like ashtray, cell phone holder, thingy super stoked on that man but the super show was good it was big there was a beautiful venue there's plenty of space to grow if that's what happens moving forward people were having sales and stuff and, and most importantly made a bunch of new friends and there's all kinds of folks hanging out went to a barbecue enjoying the time behind the booth with friends and networking and that's the big thing about the shows anyway is going there to hang out with people and make new friends and network and, and just have a good old time at the show. There was plenty of cool animals there. There were people having fun. It was, it was good. I've never been to a reptile super show that I didn't love and enjoy attending. If they keep happening in Vegas, I'll keep going. It's a reptile super show, awesome. <laughs> If you'd like to see a more detailed review of the show, go check out my buddy's channel, Serpent Eclipse Reptiles. Link in the description. Adler Romero, he did a very good job filming a lot of the clips that you see in this video, as well as doing a video for his own channel. Go check him out. Cool dude, really good video skills, and I think you'll enjoy the story that he grabbed from the entire weekend. Also, if you're interested in any of the snakes that came back with me from the show, which there were a few, they're listed on morphmarket.com right now. Don't miss out. Let's talk about what's going on back here. About five years ago, my buddy Garrett recognized that Freedom Breeder and I had a really great relationship and that we should take it to the next level to sponsorship. That was very organic the way it happened, even though I did go there and inquire about it. Like I made the first move, so to speak, in the relationship. And it's been wonderful. It's like family and they've, they've been such a great company. And, and after I got sponsored by Freedom Breeder, for the next five years since then, I've had been approached by company after company, I've been blessed to be approached by so many companies. Literally hundreds of companies have reached out about sponsoring our YouTube channel or what we do, whether it's Instagram, YouTube, hundreds, literally hundreds. And I've turned every single one of them down. Not because I didn't appreciate it, I just didn't feel like, you know, the Freedom Breeder thing was so natural and organic. I, you know, I had plenty of videos talking about how much I love the company and the people that work for it long before we ever started in on a business relationship. So it was just, it just felt right. It felt natural and nothing else just felt right. It felt like, oh, if you, you know, show our product or something, we'll give you money. And 
that's technically, I guess, how a sponsorship works, but it's not something I want to do. I didn't want to just start repping all kinds of different places and, and products and companies just because they wanted to give me money and they wanted to use my platform to do so. Not that there weren't plenty of good companies that reached out. I just wanted it to feel, I just didn't, it just didn't feel right. None of it felt right. Freedom Breeder was the only thing that felt right. It was natural and it was, so it was exclusively Freedom Breeder. Last October, somebody sat down with me and said, hey, if, if you ever wanted to get sponsored by us, that, that would be something we'd be interested in talking about. And that was the first time that somebody reached out to me and I was like, hmm, that could be good because I've already had an account with this company forever and I'm dragging it out a little bit just trying to keep the suspense, but I'm pretty excited about it. Like, I'm really excited about it. I'm super blessed and honored to announce that we now have a second sponsor here for Triple B TV, which is again, the episodes are coming back on in October. And for this channel, Morph Market. Morph Market. I've had a Morph Market account for years now. Morph Market is changing the game in such big ways for reptile sales, they just set the bar so high. There's so much that they're doing, there's so many things. I had to sign an NDA. Well, I, I chose to sign an NDA because I wanted to be, felt like they could you know, tell me things and not worry about me spilling things, which I'm really bad about. So John, you gotta keep me under wraps, dude. Make sure I'm not saying things I'm not supposed to. <laughs> because there are so many exciting things coming forward with Morph Market. They've already done so much with Morphpedia, the Morph Market forums. And there are so many things that are coming out from Morph Market in the next like, just in the next week, in the next weeks, in the next months, in the next year. They're a huge supporter of US Arc. And anyway, I love, I've love i loved Morph Market since the first time I started an account with them and, and even more after I got to meet John and hear more about his ideas behind get, making the company better and bringing together keepers and breeders. And it's just, I'm, I'm, feel, I'm so blessed to be have been sponsored by Morph Market now too. Um, so cool, it's such a cool combo. If you're breeder Morph Market, it's like, that's, that's the winning combo, right? It just is. It felt so right, and I'm so glad it's working out. The next thing I want to talk about is what Morph Market is offering moving forward. They've teamed up with Rare Genetics Incorporated. You may have watched the Triple B TV video years ago where I interviewed Ben at Daytona talking about you know, genetic testing for morphs. And he's been working on it hard day and night, and now he's partnering with Morph Market to make it available to, to the public through Morph Market. Basically, you take a little piece of shed, you send it off, and you can test for the morphs in your ball python. Now there's only a certain number of morphs they're doing right now, but think about how game changing this is. I've been, th I've been thinking and, and talking about this for years and to see it actually come to fruition through Morph Market is amazing. So you pair, say, het clown to a het clown, and then you make pos heads, right? And you gotta take three years to grow those up to then prove them out to be pos head or not. Now you don't have to do that. You can just send a little piece of shed in and there's a, there's a link in the description if you wanna click on it to be first in line to have the access to this service to be able to do this. You're talking about taking years away from having to prove out pos hets in projects. Right now they've got pied, clown, lavender albino, test for male or female if you've got a pet that you wanna find out or say you got a, an animal from a breeder that's supposed to be het clown or het pied and you, you don't know for sure, you wanna test to make sure. But the big thing is the time you're saving on your projects to not have to wait to find out if from a head to head pairing, if the some animals are head, which ones are not, you'll no longer have to sell pos heads, which is huge. I just sold a pos head sunset male to somebody who potentially is gonna be able to prove that out down the line. It's gonna take years or they can just send in the shed once sunset is moving because the more, more and more traits are gonna be available, right? Now it's pied, clown and lavender albino, but more and more recessive traits are gonna be added to the list. You could even find out if it's like, difference between yellow belly gravel and all the yellow belly complex and test which one. That's crazy. I don't even know how that's possible because that's that's insane. And it's super cool. It's gonna be available through Morph Market. Red Genetics Incorporated is no longer gonna be selling to the public. They're gonna be selling through Morph Market. So again, link in the description, go click on that and find out. And sorry I'm talking so fast, but I'm super excited. I, 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 uh, I'm so blessed to be able to work with these companies that I really like and they like me back and that's not something I could really have planned or ever asked for, but it's how it's working out. So um, big thank you to John over at Morph Market for being an awesome guy and believing in what we're doing over here enough to give back to the community and sponsor us. I mean, they're Platinum US Arc members. He's just constantly giving back to the community. And so, yeah, that's that's it guys. Uh, super stoked. Do you have something you wanna say? You looked like you wanted to say something. Oh yeah, yeah. are you um, a little bit famous <laughs> or no? Tiny. Tiny, yeah. tiny, tiny, tiny bit. A little, little bit. Like if there's, you know, all the hairs on Hilo's head, I'm like one hair on Hilo. Oh. Famous. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. <laughs>
All right. Thank you guys for watching. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. We love you. We appreciate you. And we'll see you in the next video on Wednesday for Cusco Uncut. Aloha. Aloha.